For two weekends in December, the Fort Wayne Ballet will be performing the classic piece, The Nutcracker. They'll also be joined by some special guests along the way. Joining me this morning to share more is the Fort Wayne Ballet's Executive Director, Jim Sparrow. Jim, good morning. How good are you? Good morning. Glad to, glad to have you. Not a problem. Thank you for coming out. So, first of all, if nobody's ever seen The Nutcracker, sure. it is a classic. What can they expect if they come out? Well, you'll get to see Clara in the Land of Sweets and uh, some funny little characters that go along with that trip. So, it's, it's one of those stories that... You, you may not think you know it, but uh, but everybody's familiar with it. What makes your performance more unique than the typical Nutcracker? Sure. So one of the nice things about our performance is we're with the Fort uh, Philharmonic for the first weekend, so you'll get the full theater experience, um, fully staged in the Arch United Center, um, and a couple other things that are different. We partner, um, we call it the Muttcracker, with uh, various... Um, rescues. This year it's the DeKalb uh, Animal Shelter um, and we'll be doing it so you'll see the dogs on the stage and you'll also be able to uh, meet them for adoption. And that is always a good treat, a little bit of arts and culture along with doing some good. Uh, when it comes to the Nutcracker, how mm -hmm. long does it take the ballet, the company, to get ready for it? So the professional company, we have uh, uh, 25, 26 professional dancers. They're doing performances all the time, but they'll start rehearsals probably about three weeks before. But the rest of the production, actually, we start in September. Oh, wow. um, so we have about 200 people that are involved, uh, both on the stage and behind the stage. That includes people in our academy, but also volunteers and a variety of other things. It's a, it's a big show. It sure sounds it. And when it comes to this performance, uh, is it family friendly? I mean, we all think the Nutcracker sure. is a classic tale. It's very family friendly, and it's something that we really encourage the families to come to. One of the things we've added to that is the Kris Kringle Village, which happens on Saturday and Sunday. It's in front. It's a German-style sort of Christmas village. Um, that's on both Saturdays and Sundays of the two weekends where we're doing things. And we're also trying to encourage a few people to get excited about it now. We have a couple of Black Friday things that are running right now through midnight on Sunday. One, if you buy a ticket for opening night, um, you're invited to the reception that happens before. It's a champagne and strawberry reception, so Ooh. go do that. <laughs> and the other is uh, a land of sweets. It's specifically geared towards families. That's actually a $5 ticket um, if you buy uh, for the matinees before um, midnight on Sunday. Again, we're excited to be able to present this again and we're hoping people come out. Yeah, some good deals there. And why would you encourage a family to come out other than all these good sure. deals and stuff uh, to maybe introduce their family to ballet? Well, it's a great introduction to ballet. It's also one of those things that becomes a family event and a, and, and a, a tradition. So it's nice to be able to marry both of those. Uh, it makes it very fun. And as I was talking to uh, Nick who came on before. <laughs> um, it's a, one of those things where people think that they're intimidated by things like ballet or going to the orchestra, but this is the kind of event that you go once and you're never intimidated again. So I encourage people to give it a try. Jim, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. The Fort Wayne Ballet will be forming the Nutcracker Friday, December 1st through Sunday, December 10th. Performances with the Fort Wayne Philharmonic on those select nights in the first week. The performances are at the Arts United Center located at 303 East Main Street. And we'll have a link to all this information later today inside the story on Wayne dot com.